It's the summer of 1998 and France have just won the World Cup on home soil, beating Brazil in the final. As the season progresses, Man United go on to win that famous treble, with Ryan Giggs scoring that stunner against Arsenal in the semi-final, and Ole Gunnar Solskjaer scoring the famous last-minute winner at the Nou Camp against Bayern Munich. But what if we can go back to those years in FM? Well, thanks to the retro database from the Mad Scientist, we can. So will we take over future treble winners United? Will we take over the current Premier League champions Arsenal? Or could we head over to Italy where some of the best players in the world are, with Palmer having a loaded squad, Inter containing the original Ronaldo up front, or do we go to Juventus with an unbelievable squad including pre-hair transplant Conte, or finally could we go to AC Milan with the legendary George Weah leading the line. It's actually none of those, we're going to my home club Middlesbrough. And we're going to see if in five seasons we can turn this newly promoted club into a European and international powerhouse. Can we win the Premier League? Can we win any European trophies? Let's dive right in and find out. Yeah, so guys, here we are in September. Completed our transfer business. Not a massive amount of money in the pot, but what we have brought in is pretty incredible to be fair. Robbie Keane, 1.4 million, 18 years old. Um, he's already scored nine goals for us in the Premier League in five appearances, so he's absolutely smashing it straight out of the box. Fits into that advanced forward role absolutely perfectly for us. He's got, well, just stats to, unbelievable stats to be fair for the age of 18. Uh, 18 finishing there, he's got 18 pace, great stamina, great acceleration and agility as well. So this guy is probably very comfortably going to be leading the line for us for years to come. Potential five star ability already at four and a half star ability as well so really bargain for that price next brought in Budweiser Zenden I'll probably say some of these names wrong obviously uh, future Borough player of course uh, in his later years uh, but we brought him in for that left wing position we'll be playing a 4-3-3 that I'll go through with you later on uh, good passing ability again pacey player I do like players that have got pace so good acceleration good pace he's got two goals and two assists in four appearances in the Premier League. And he's kind of straight into that first slot on the left wing there for us. So looking at his loan contract, we've got him in for three and a half grand a week, which is uh, not bad at all. And we've also got an optional future fee for him as well. So if he does well, we can uh, bring him in in the future. So fingers crossed. And then the last one, 2.5 million, brought in a 21 year old, Matt Van Bommel. He can play in that defensive midfield slot for us. He can play central midfield. Quite a versatile player. Looking, you know, pretty decent for his age. 15 passing, 17 passing even. 15 tackling, should I say. 15 technique. Uh, great leadership skills. A lot of great mental attributes, to be fair. Uh, decent physical. Not necessarily as pacey as I would normally like. But he is kind of probably comfortably our second best midfielder when you see who our number one midfielder is in the club. So it's played two Premier League appearances for us so far, slotted in quite nicely and not many outgoings to be fair really, um, not much quality in the squad for us to actually sell and make any money off. Uh, we've managed to get rid of Marco Branca since I came in and Mikel Beck has gone as well with Ronnie O'Brien out on a loan to Scarborough of all places. So I wonder if uh, Warnock's there, probably uh, not at this time I wouldn't have thought. Looking at our tactics. 4-3-3. It is not my tactic, guys. I can't take any credit for it. This is from GYR. It's the Batman. I do love a 4-3-3 and Batman's uh, my favourite superhero, so I thought, why not give it a go? I will put the link in the description for you all if you want to go ahead and download that and give it a try. Uh, everything that we're using today, I'll put the links in the description for, but it's a great looking 4-3-3. Fairly attacking. We've got fullbacks on attack, we've got inside forwards both on attack as well, but then we've got Gaza in central midfield playing that central midfield attacking role. Started all five games in the Premier League so far. No goals, but coming in with the assist, which is great. Wanted by Fiorentino already, believe it or not, so we'll see if we can keep hold of him as the season progresses. Looking at our schedule, great start so far to be fair. Uh, five wins in a row through league and cup, and then a narrow defeat to Arsenal. 
So let's push forward into January uh, or February as it is now actually. This is the first and only time we're going to do this. Um, I'm going to skip the January transfer window moving forward and just simulate the season. But we're in fourth place already so we've made a hell of a start to the season. 21 games, 12 wins, 3 draws, 6 defeats though so fairly heavy. Uh, we have got 71 goals scored, 43 conceded. So we're scoring plenty, conceding plenty as well. But let's go and look at the business that we've done in the January window. Uh, like I said, this is the first and only time we're going to do this, guys. We'll just simulate the whole season's moving forward. Managed to get a couple of outgoings there. Hamilton Rickard forced his way out for 2 million, so capitalised on that, got him out to Palmer. Colin Cooper, gone. Mark Summerbell, gone as well. Schwarzer, again, wanted to leave, so we've got him off to Fiorentina. Dean Gordon, out. And Steve Vickers, out out on loan so reshaping the squad already Gibbo put his hands in his pockets like he did in those days due to our solid league position he's given us some more funds so we started off with Kevin Hoffland from Fortuna Sittard same place as Van Bommel this is unbelievable young defender to be fair crazy physicals for his age great pace great stamina strength acceleration you name it he's got it uh, nothing, or oh, there's one thing that's below 15, so he's really well rounded player physically. Great heading, great tackling, and again, 19 years of age, so he slots straight into the central uh, defence. Raul Chaparro brought him in from Argentina. Um, he is a winger, going to be playing, oh, well, gives, gives us options basically, left and right wing. Not as pacey as I would normally like, but you know, he's, he's slightly injured at the moment but waiting to make his debut and get him back in the side. Then another future Borough player brought in Joseph Job at this point. Very much uh, just back up, to be fair, but on a loan, we've got an option to buy as well if we want to, so I might take that out in the summer. And then finally, Luca Toni. Not my normal type of attacker that I would go for, but uh, there's plenty of people in for him, plenty of interest, and given what he turns into in the future, I thought we'd go ahead and invest the 2.5 million for him and see how he pans out. Moving over to our schedule so far, when I get there, there we go. A <laughs> uh, little bit inconsistent, um, not too many heavy defeats, which is good. Not too many draws, I guess, it's kind of win or lose with us. We've got Rotherham coming up in the FA Cup fifth round, so fingers crossed we can do well in the FA Cup, have a bit of a cup run. But let's simulate to the end of the season and see how we get on. Well, here we are, and we have done unbelievably well, finishing in third position. That is a Champions League spot, unbelievably, for Borough in our first season since promotion. Done well in the Cups, or the FA Cup, certainly knocked out in the semi-final. Well, let's have a little look through the league here, see how we did. 22 wins, 6 defeats, and sorry, 6 draws, 13 defeats. Um, I think we've done fairly well towards the end of the season there. Quite a decent little run that's probably pushed us out of Arsenal into uh, third position rather than fourth. So quite tight those Champions League places into the UEFA Cup. I would have been happy with the UEFA Cup to be fair. <laughs> but we're finishing the Champions League. Unbelievable achievement like I say in that first season for us. Let's have a little look at how the squad did. All over the place with a mouse here and excitement. Uh, Gascoigne is wanted uh, and he wants to move as well, so see if we can maybe cash in on Gaza. But pretty happy with some of the stats here overall. Looking at Robbie Keane up front in particular, 40 goals, crazy. Uh, Gaza as well, what's Gaza done? 23 goals, 22 assists. Luca Toni hasn't really got off the, uh, the board at all there, to be fair. He's been on the bench and doesn't look like he's been substituted once. Don't know what Viv Anderson's doing there. But yeah, like I say, look at this Robbie Keane, 40 in 41. Crazy stats. Gaz has done really well. Joseph Job, not too bad, considering uh, he was a bit of a backup, to be fair, more than anything. Uh, and again, Ralph Shaparo, just the one goal, four assists. So not amazing. I think we've been really hanging on Robbie Keane here. Um, looking at the league itself again, just wanted to see has Man United, or did Man United, do the treble again let's go and look here we're in june now look at that guys have done they've won everything they've won all five look at this premier league champions league beating juventus fa cup winner coca-cola cup winner and obviously the charity shield winners as well 
crazy. All five trophies and not a single FA charging site. <laughs> Probably lost a couple of viewers there straight away. So we've got 68 million to play with and a wage budget of 92k. Let's push on forward into September and see what business we do. Well, here we are, fast forwarding. Done some business early. You can see here, brought in Frank Lampard. Bargain, 6.75 million. That was a replacement for another midfielder who wanted to leave, so we let go. Again, crazy physicals. I keep buying these players with unbelievable physicals. Great pace, stamina, strength. Quality, quality player, 21 years of age. What a bargain, 6.75 million. His mentals are great, his passing is great as well. So he is gonna fit straight into the center of midfield as a direct replacement for Gascoigne, who we sold to AC Milan. 11 million we got for him. Crazy to think that we've sold him for 11 million quid and brought in Frank Lampard for 6.75. Couple of other outgoings here, Fester on loan, we've got rid of uh, Phil Stamp, Kinder, a couple of other people on the way out, Luca Tony out on loan as well. We did make the transfer for Joseph Job permanent, again not much to see there, we'll just let him progress. Needed a keeper, we brought in Roy Carroll, got him in from Wigan. Only two start in a minute but potential for four and a half star rating so we're going to let him progress and see how he gets on. Brought in also Thomas Ushfalusi, no doubt I'm saying that wrong, <laughs> gives us a bit of flexibility in the central defence but also back up for defensive midfield. Decent pace for a defender but good stamina, good strength as well. Decent heading, tackling, passing so fairly good all-rounder to be fair. Uh, and for the price that we got him at, uh, it was kind of like a free transfer with compensation so done well there. Patrice Ever, 18 years old. <laughs> Quite slow, to be fair, only 12 pace, uh, but he's got a one and a half star rating at the minute. This is really just to see if we could develop him and get him in on the option to buy. Joseph Yobo, 18 years old, again, obsessing with the physicals, but great heading, great tackling, great defender, to be fair. And then this player, can you believe this guy's going to be stepping out of the riverside? Ronaldinho, <laughs> 2.8 million on a release clause from Gremio. Um, crazy crazy player great passing obviously 20 flair as you can imagine he's got great finishing great first touch great free kick taking he can play on the wing in central midfield he can do it all really uh, anything up that kind of left side or in the middle four star already five star potential and to bring in another Brazilian we brought in Janinho not the OG Burra Janinho but the one who played for Leon. As you can imagine, 20 free kick taking. <laughs> if anyone remembers this guy's free kick ability, unbelievable. Uh, again, he's gonna fit into that central midfield. So we're bringing in a lot more flair into the midfield now. We've got Janino, we've got Ronaldinho. Wouldn't necessarily call Lampard a flair player, but you know, quality player. So we've really, really upgraded that midfield now with these three players that we've brought in. He has made two appearances for us so far, but three goals, so doing really well. Next, a young Matai Kejman. I mean, this guy, look at this, 20 years old, but his, uh, his stats are absolutely unbelievable. Finishing 18, dribbling 18, passing 15. Uh, Four-star ability already at 20 years old. And a real bargain for the price. A young, young Michael Carrick, future Borough manager, current Borough manager. Again, just gives us options, but very much a development option, to be fair for us. So we'll let him develop over the, uh, over the season. And then finally, Lionel Scaloni, or Andrew Lincoln, as he looks like from Walking Dead. Uh, that's to give us some options on the wing. Just a loan deal, uh, three star, current ability, potentially going up to four star. So we'll see how this guy progresses, see if we can bring him in. Great start to the season, three wins in three. We're absolutely flying, like we always seem to, making a, a pretty decent start. So great to see that we've got obviously a, a decent goal difference there. Robbie Keane, three goals already. Lampard and Hoffland doing really really well on those ratings as well for us so we've made an absolute top quality start looking at our Champions League group here this is when it was in group stages so no league stages here we've got Parma who are our biggest competition and look at the squad they've got here this is the old Parma squad Buffon, Taram, Cannavaro, Veron they've brought Shevchenko in Crespo, Ince as well they've brought in uh, crazy crazy team to be fair and obviously they uh, don't know what's happened to Palmer now they've gone bust I think haven't they or pretty much went bust and got relegated a few times so shadow of what they uh, what they formerly were 
won everything so far all of our friendlies but obviously the friendlies are just jokes anyway aren't they so don't really pay much attention to that and then our tactics sticking with the 4-3-3 but I think we're looking a lot more strong um, would be playing Roy Carroll if he wasn't injured so we're going to let him develop Patrice Everest the real real weak link so far hoping that he will develop as we go um, don't really have many other options for left back we've got Craig Harrison who's not amazing uh, either so it's kind of Patrice is probably best of a bad bunch hoping he'll develop into who he really became in real life but then I think we've got a good quality forward line in midfield to be fair so hopefully they can do more damage for us than we uh, will get damaged at the back one last thing to show you guys my under 21's manager's hair look at that what a hairstyle I think I'm growing that myself guys we're going to simulate into the next season let's see how we get on Guys, I did not see this coming. Champions of England, believe it or not. <laughs> in only our second season, I was worried probably that that tactic was a little bit OP. And I think it probably uh, is. That added with Ronaldinho, we have uh, stormed the league. 110 goals scored, only 41 conceded. 29 wins, just the four defeats. And went on a hell of a winning run there as well to end the season, beating Chelsea and Liverpool. We've got Robbie Keane leading goal scorer Ronaldinho leading assists as well and Roy Carroll coming in really strong uh, in fourth place for clean sheets so we have done phenomenally well so far cannot believe it knocked out in the semi-final of the Champions League by that unbelievable Palmer team just on penalties as well let's just have a little look through our run let's go into uh, the group stage here if we can actually get there <laughs> Topped the group. Oh my god. So who do we drew against Palmer and PSG, but no defeats. And we beat Palmer 4-1. Beat PSG. Obviously, this is this is not the same PSG as we have nowadays. Round of 16 went against Sport and Lisbon. Dominated them to be fair. Absolutely battered them there across the two legs. Whoa! Knocked out Man United. Oh my god. So again, we oh, done it unbelievably well there in the quarters. And then finally come undone in the semis so we actually knock the holders out Juve versus Parma two super squads going up against each other we did get knocked out of the FA Cup by Man United there in the fifth round let's have a quick look at our run we've got back to Charlton and who was in the fourth round Rotherham done really well against Rotherham as well but we did win the Coca-Cola Cup at Newcastle <laughs> get in there so what was the run Tranmere 3-0 Chef Wed 4-1, who else? Uh, ooh, battered Southampton 7-2. Semi-final. Oh, a Leeds, nice. Cross two legs, done really well there. And then destroyed Newcastle in the final. That is crazy, crazy what we've done here. Let's have a little look at this squad. See how the guys have shaped up and how they've done. Robbie Keane. As you, oof, look at that, 43 goals. I mean, what's that now? 80-odd in two seasons, I think. Janino. 30 odd goals for us there, 14 assists. Ronaldinho, 15 goals, 24 assists, bit of a monster. Lampard doing crazy well there as well, 15 goals, 12 assists. We've even got Evra, our weak link, one goal, 13 assists. So he's performed really, really well for us as well. Kesman didn't get too many games looking at this. This is not ideal really for his development. 30, no, 25 even. Only the eight goals, that's not great to be fair. See how he goes in the future. But we have got 81 million to play with in a wage budget, 317k. So we can do some damage in the transfer market coming up to try and win two on the bounce. Young Michael Essie in here. But let's fast forward to September and see how we blow that money. So guys, we have done some serious business over the summer. First off, starting with some of the early outgoings. We got Robbie Stockdale out. Uh, Arsenal came in with a pretty decent offer to be fair, 16.5 million going up to 20, couldn't really say no to that. Uh, Gianluca Festa on the way out as well, but our early incoming, Henrik Larsson, <laughs> what a signing, 15 million, uh, legendary striker, 
comes in straight away at four and a half star ability world class centre forward signing for the Borough for that bargain price 15 mil and then the rest of the summer again lots and lots of business here starting with the outgoings for us we saw Kevin Hofland didn't really want to if I'm honest but as soon as Real Madrid came in then he made it clear that he wanted to leave so 33 and a half rising to 47 Carrick also wanted to leave as soon as Spurs came in he said he wanted to go so he uh, let him out John Luca Festa come at the end of his career 12 months left on his contract 5 million from Chelsea couldn't say no to that but to replace Hofland we've brought in a young Jonathan Woodgate I mean it's a silly pace for a defender to be fair but a lot of his other stats are pretty decent as well three star rising up potentially a four and a half star and his value skyrocketed already um, but we'll see how he gets on because he obviously does have that injury record another legend in the game here a young player at this time Carlos Puyol um, or Puyol Puyol said it wrong the first time <laughs> great physicals as you'd expect from Puyol um, great mentals as well I'm just hoping that he can bed into that right back slot probably coming in um, you know as a replacement for Stockdale but we'll see how we how we get on there Patrice Evra made that deal permanent three million could not really after the season that he had and then Bartes I know a bit of a probably a bit of a joke to people at the time but ahead of his time now if you consider people like Edison Allison how they play out from the back very much how Bartes used to uh, obviously eccentricity 15 as you'd expect but just again a, a, a solid bordering on world class goalkeeper I think um, so brought him in he was transfer listed with Monaco so bargain real to be fair I uh, got him in for five and a half million then we started splashing the cash Freddie Youngberg again just a, an unbelievable player anyone my age remembers what he was like for Arsenal back in the day so brought him in for that right midfield good physicals good technical again just a quality player to be fair smash the wage budget for him as well <laughs> really really uh, splashing the cash then trying to look at a couple of players for the future here as well Nemanja Vidic the one and only 18 years of age good head and good tackling right now but that's pretty much it <laughs> from his stats so you can see there it's only one and a half star going up to potentially five stars so we're just going to probably get him out on loan see how we can let him develop then there was a little bit of panic because some of the squad said that they thought the defence wasn't strong enough. Obviously Puyol wasn't as good of a replacement for Stockdale as I would have liked. So brought in Jorge Andrade for, uh, well, a loan from Parma. Um, I thought he had pretty decent physicals and he's come in only at two and a half star. So that's a bit of a shame. He probably wasn't quite good enough. I've then had to bring in a left back, Kaka Kaladze. Uh, he will play across well the, the most of the defence to be fair even going into defensive midfield brought him in from Roma or Cap what are they called on here Capitoline <laughs> obviously don't have the right to that name do they so 24.5 million fair whack of money but again his star rating wasn't great as soon as he actually joined loan for John Allen boom song we'll leave that left unsaid didn't pan out very well whatsoever and then managed to persuade the board to bring in this right back for me so he can play in right midfield right wing back but right back as well which is where he'll be lining up world class player in that position um, so hopefully he can just embed a little bit more into that full back spot that we've got and get him on to attack um, but I think a real quality player seven and a half million that was done with minutes to spare <laughs> on the sorry 8.75 it was minutes to spare on the deadline we have moved now to accommodate Larson into a 4-4-2, as you can see here. Again, guys, not my tactic. I'll put the link in the description. But look at that attack. All the stars in that attack there. Ronaldinho, Larson, Keane. Janino is doing really well. Jungberg is looking quality. Lampard is looking quality. It's just the defence is a real weak spot for us. Uh, Matt Del Campo not looking bad at right back at all. Bartes, not great. Two and a half star. Really not good at all. Just hoping that the attack will do better than the defence and we've had a shaky shaky start to be fair um, beaten by Leeds um, oh we did win the Charity Shield uh, but beaten by Leeds in the Premier League drew against Villa and then put Derby away so see how we progress this season doesn't look great hopefully we're just bedding in to the new formation but we're currently ninth 
in the league, so our traditional strong start hasn't happened. Looking next, Champions League fixtures, we have now moved to the league phase. So Sturmgratz, Partizan, Real Madrid, uh, real, real tough fixtures. So it's that league stage, like I mentioned. Plenty of teams here, so hopefully we can just finish in those playoff positions and, and squeeze our way through. Rest of the fixtures after Madrid, obviously we've got Bayer Leverkusen, Schalke, Fiorentina, Barcelona, Porto. It's a it's a crazy fixture list to be fair. I guess our coefficient must be pretty low, so we're in a bit of a bad pot, so to speak. Um, so tricky run. Let's see how we get on in the Champions League. Can we get further than the semi-final this time? We will keep our fingers crossed and wait and see. Tricky set of fixtures for September. Look at that Chelsea, Sturmgratz, Liverpool. So, you know, we're probably in danger of falling behind already here when you look at already dropped a couple of points and we're currently in ninth position. So, not looking great. One last thing to show you guys the guy with the crazy hair has left to go and beat AC Milan, under 21's manager. So, we've lost him. So, no longer got the guy with the good hair. But, guys, let's go forward in time and see how we get on. So you join us in May here for the FA Cup final against Man United. It's the uh, one domestic trophy that we haven't won yet. So keeping our fingers crossed that we can stick them away. We've gone back to a 4-3-3 formation here just to make sure that we are as solid as we can be. A little bit more solid than a 4-4-2 but we have instantly <laughs> conceded five minutes in and it's an own goal. Uh, came off Rio Ferdinand, who's actually signed for Man United in-game as well. So, own goal, worst possible start, five minutes in. But here we are on the counter now. This is the slowest counter-attack I've ever seen. Got Madison now playing on the right wing of all places. Del Campo picks the ball back up. Neat little pass to Van Bommel. Is he going to go outside? No, he's not. He's turned his back. All the way back to Woodgate. Here we go, a bit more forward momentum. Van Bommel tearing up the wing. Leaves Roy Keane for dust. Janino, here we go. Ooh, off the bar. United, dangerous again. But we've nicked the ball. Here we go. Van Bommel. Stopped. Madison in his tracks there. Rio pushing forward. Man United have got a great team in, in this game already. Signed Totti, would you believe? About 90 got a million, I think it was. We cut out Beckham's pass. Here we go, let's get back on the front foot. Straight back, all the way back to the keeper. <laughs> 62 minutes in, now still 1 0 down. Let's pick up the pace a little bit here, guys. Van Bommel. All pitch ahead of him, Janino carrying an injury now. Keane driving us forward, here we go. Nice little ball, square it. Oh, get in, Henrik Larsson. Playing on the left wing for us in this match here. Equalises. Brings us back all square, one all, we've got half an hour. But we are in injury time here. United corner, headed out to Dwight York. Dangerous looking ball in. Doesn't go out for a throw-in. Stopped Michel Salgado. Nice little play here from United. Oh, disaster. Oh, in the last minute, Man United have scored the winner. But it's going to VAR review. Check in. Here we go. Fingers crossed. It's disallowed. It's offside. Here we go now, corner to Borough, ball whipped in, headed out by United defence, but it falls to Van Bommel, smashes it home, puts us in front, 2-1, only a few minutes into extra time, let's try and hang on for the win here now guys, oh VAR, never, it's allowed, and that was the last moment of the game guys, the last attack of the game, and Borough have beaten Man United in the FA Cup final. And here we go for the trophy presentation.
Well, that FA Cup win caps off a decent but a little bit disappointing season for us in a way. Uh, weren't able to retain our title. That went to Liverpool. Dominant as well, to be fair. Finished a mile ahead of us here, as you can see. Uh, what is that? 14 points ahead of us. Unbelievable. Six games lost twice against Liverpool as well. Man United beating us in there as well. So we were some way off second place, to be fair. So, yeah, disappointing. Comfortably third when you look at where Arsenal finished. Quite comfortable third position. Plenty of goals again, but back to conceding. Uh, 58 conceded this time. What's that? At least what we're getting on for 20 more than last season, I think. God, United put nine passes. Liverpool six, Leeds five. Not done very well defensively at all. Can't explain that drop away, really. Um, but, yeah, Champions League semi-finalists again. <laughs> Beaten by Inter Milan this time. Uh, fair defeat, 4-2 on aggregate. So squeezed through the qualification stage, to be fair. Um, avoided the playoffs, which is decent. Real Madrid and Arsenal. Barcelona, God, all these teams that didn't make it. Man United went in the playoffs as well. So we lost three games. Oh, tight one against Barcelona. That's probably an entertaining one. Five wins, three defeats, 30 goals scored, 16 against. Again, quite a lot conceded, really, if you look compared to everybody above us and around us. A lot of goals conceded. Round of 16, put Porto away fairly comfortably. 5-2 on aggregate, decent win. Quarterfinals, wow, 10-6 on aggregate. <laughs> what a what a set of games that must have been. Look at that, four Italian teams we've got through with that round as well. And then finally, defeated by Inter, who go against Lazio. It's another all-Italian final. Winners of the FA Cup, as we've just seen there. Great to win that trophy. 2-1, extra time against United. Let's have a look at our journey through here. Good win against QPR there, solid. Uh, battered Dagenham and Redbridge, pretty hell. 9-1. Uh, great match against Spurs, 7-4. We've got some entertaining matches that we've been involved in. 3-2 against Liverpool, that was probably a banger as well. Semis, Forest 2-0. And then 2-1, extra time against United Cup Cola Cup winners again beating Arsenal in the final this time nice uh, who have we got here Liverpool oh well, gone a little bit fast there <laughs> Liverpool third round 4-1 that's a great win against the champions 5-3 against Forest quarter final 5-0 against Derby sticking teams away fairly convincingly 9-7 on aggregate against Leeds again what a banger of a match or a banger of two matches it would have been and then Arsenal 2-0 fair enough another two cups in the cabinet but yeah like I said a little bit disappointing that we weren't able to push on in the Premier League Robbie Keane 22 goals this time we weren't on many lists there Janino and Freddie Youngberg on the assists that Liverpool 18 games without losing that is a crazy stat squad Let's have a little look through here. Henrik Larsson, 23 goals for us. Robbie Keane, 40 yet again. Just cannot stop scoring. Kesman, 24. He's done pretty well there. Luca Toni, 28 though. He's done really well. Jungberg's injured, which is why we had Maddo on the right wing, believe it or not. <laughs> but 19 goals, 24 assists. That is pretty solid uh, despite his injury. Janino, 21 goals, 34 assists. Wow the Kevin De Bruyne of 1998-99 or whatever year we'll be in now Lampard doing well again 63 games as well just absolute fitness animal really Kaladze done fairly well there 15 assists as well but you will notice we're missing somebody and that is because out completely outside of my control we lost Ronaldinho in the January window because he had a release clause for 35 million obviously didn't see that until I came back in May but look at him, absolute animal, really. Back up to 130, or value now, 132 million. But we've got 76 million and half a million per week in the wage budget. And we have already sourced our long-term replacement for Ronaldinho. And we'll be bringing him in with any luck shortly. The one and only CR7. So here we are in September, business concluded. Lots and lots of business yet again. 
First off on the outs here, like I say, Ronaldinho in January, which is a, a real shame. Uh, Kesman out, 28.5 million. That was a release clause in his contract as well. Because of my low reputation, when I was signing some of these players, I've had to put release clauses in, which means I've been stung at times. Barthez gone to United, ironically. Puyol out to Chelsea. Never really uh, lived up to his hype, I guess, really. So hopefully he can go on to better things at Chelsea now. And then Roy Carroll. Uh, bear in mind we brought him in for 675k. Arsenal came in 45 million cash up front. Couldn't say no. Plus then he started agitating for a move as well. So had to let him go, sadly. But as for the ins... Went in early to try and bring a couple of players in here. So first off, Jerome Rothen, direct replacement for Ronaldinho. Comes in world-class ability straight from the off. Four and a half star, 13 million. You can't really fall off for that type of ability. Um, decent wages as well, you know, when you, when you compare him to Ronaldinho as well. So he comes in, great looking player. Like I say, four and a half star ability, world-class. Probably a great replacement for Ronaldinho. Not as good, obviously, but I think he'll do well for us. Then also bought in a, another young left winger. Again, I'm trying to stack this left winger because we've lost all that ability on Ronaldinho. Uh, Vicente, 20 years old, three star at the minute, but potential for five star ability. Solid looking player. Maybe get him out on loan potentially if we can, or I should have probably got him out on loan to be fair. Um, but does slot again into that midfield left naturally, which is great. So we'll see how he progresses. Four and a half million to be fair. So not a bad price whatsoever. And then further ins and outs. Plenty of outs, plenty of ins. Got rid of a couple of squad players. Joseph Job left as well. Big loss for us. Ushvalusi left 40 million to Juve again as soon as that bid came in he started agitating for a move so best to cash in uh, Raul Chaparro didn't really hit it off so he was on loan last season let him go out this season for 7 million also Matt Van Bommel great servant to the club but didn't get as much game time with some of the midfielders that we bought last year so time to let him go we brought in a young Phil Jagielka so time for him to go out on loan and we did let Luca Toni go uh, again, even though he scored plenty of goals for us. We had a bid come in, decent bid, struggling for him to get in the starting lineup. So best to let him go, especially for the cash that we received. But we have replaced him with Thierry Henry, believe it or not. He was still playing for Juve, never actually did sign for Arsenal. Seriously lacking in finishing, which uh, isn't what you would think for Thierry Henry. Coming at three star ability. Potential to go up to four and a half star, so real, real future quality player. So we'll see how he progresses and how he gets on. Had to rectify the goalkeeping situation, obviously let both of my keepers go in the summer. So backup keeper, Mark Ziegler, brought him in from Stuttgart, 5.25 million. That was his release clause, so a bit of a bargain really. Only three star, but again, backup goalkeeper, so not bad at all for the price. Young Colaccini, never did go to uh, Newcastle in this save. Again, for his age, crazy physicals, good heading, tackling, and slots in at right back or at centre back. So, quite a versatile player. Three star current ability, potential five star. So, again, bargain really. Now, Joe Cole needed a real, real improvement in midfield, and this is going to take over from Janino in the centre of midfield alongside Frank Lampard. So, a bit of a West Ham connection. Four star ability right now, potential to go up to five star. He's an unbelievable looking player, obviously another flair player. We've got some great flair in the centre of midfield yet again. Great technique, great passing, vision, work rate, quality, quality player, as you'd expect from Joe Cole. So hopefully for the price, he can drive us forward. But I would say for 32 million, that's a, a good signing. I'm really happy with that. Somebody else in from Celtic, Gustavo Neri, left back, just to give us a little bit more strength in that position a little bit more a couple more options I guess really obviously we've got Kaka Kaladze from last season but he's a solid looking player and again just gives us a good backup option I'm really trying to improve the squad in this window because I think I probably messed up on some of my transfers last season really young Phil Jagielka got sent him straight out on loan again strengthening our squad strengthening the midfield as well as a direct replacement for Van Bommel Michael Ballack a young Michael Ballack from Kaiserslautern. Kaiserslautern, don't know how you say it. <laughs> but solid, solid looking player. Eight and a half million. Bargain, I think, 
for me, for 24 year old Michael Ballack. Then our first choice keeper, Pablo Cavallero, Cavallero, depending on how you say it. Four star, current ability, probably the best he's gonna get, but I thought, you know, decent player yet again. Um, and again, a bargain at the price. There's some decent release clauses out there. Got him on his release clause for 10 mil. So solid. Couldn't fall off if you think I've, what was it, 45 for Roy Carroll. And I've brought in two keepers for less than half. Then we did manage to get Ronaldo. He is only 16. Doesn't necessarily fit perfectly into the formation right now either. Because we're doing 4 4 2. He's uh, not a natural left midfielder. But again, it's Ronaldo. Let's just run with it. Let's see where we go. Then splash the cash massively here to bring in Gareth Barry. We lost our best defender in Ushfalusi. So brought in Gareth Barry, 20 years old. I don't remember Gareth Barry being that fast. Pace 16. Could be wrong. Somebody remind me in the comments. But crazy defender. Um, is, did he start his career off in defence? I can't remember. But uh, I also was a kind of a defensive midfielder. But again, I mean, 60 million going up to potential for 80 so we have thrown a lot of cash at this to try and rectify our defensive problems and then just a young player here we've just sent straight back out to his club that we bought him from but he was scouted out with someone with high potential so let him go straight back competitions we're back to making a strong start again which is good three wins from three we uh, did lose the charity shield don't really care, to be honest. <laughs> Champions League, fixtures are looking a little better now. Marseille, Fortuna Citad, Valencia, Inter, Fiorentina, Galatasaray, Benfica, Bayern. I think that's probably a little bit easier than last year. I think we have some real tricky ones, so I would bank on us, to be fair, qualifying again in the, uh, the league phase without having to go through that playoff place. So really happy with how we're performing so far. Performing? Said that funny, didn't I? <laughs> That came out weird. Uh, like I said, I lost the Charity Shield, but three in three in the Premier League so far. And we've got Shrewsbury there in the Coca-Cola Cup third round. Sticking with the 4-4-2, but I think, do you know what, this is so much of a stronger team now. Uh, back to plenty, kind of four, four and a half, pushing even to five stars. Again, all the way through the midfield and the attack. Cavalero giving us that four-star goalkeeper, so a little bit more... Uh, strength between the sticks I guess really uh, you know compared to Carroll and Bartes so really confident going into this season I think to be fair stand a good chance of getting our trophy back winning the league again and with Ronaldo anything's possible so let's push forward into the next season guys there we go I said I was confident and we've done it again twice in three years and it couldn't have been tighter. Goal difference from Liverpool. Crazy season. 30 games won. Two drawn, six lost. What we have got 132 goals scored, but 57 conceded. So really, it's our goals scored that's actually won us that league, to be fair. 75. <laughs> 75 goal difference compared to Liverpool 69. Uh, scored what, 11 against Arsenal, 10 against Man United. And that run actually won us the league, to be fair. We won the last five in a row. Disappointing Champions League campaign, though. Quarterfinals this time have gone backwards. How do we do in the league phase this time? Sixth, not bad at all. One defeat to Inter. Not surprising, the Italians are consistently strong in this game. Obviously, they've got such great players and they've got all the money as well, really, from Syria. Round of 16, spotting Lisbon again. 7-3, stuck them away. Fairly straightforward. Then quarterfinals, 8-6. <laughs> wow, what a match that first leg must have been. But then Real Madrid knocked out themselves by Juve, who yet again make the Champions League final. Third round of the FA Cup to Newcastle. It's our first game in, so that's really disappointing to be knocked out immediately as soon as we enter the competition. And then Coca-Cola Cup, Again, not great, to be fair. Uh, third round, put Shrewsbury away, 6-1. Walsall, 3-0. 4-0 against Fulham. And then knocked out by Villa. Oh, ball draw in the second leg, so it all happened in the first leg. Villa putting us away to go on 
and lose the final to uh, Liverpool. But yeah, I think we've had a hell of a season by all accounts. Ronaldo, only 12 substitute appearances. That's not good at all. I did say he doesn't fit into the formation very well, so Viv has not been playing him too well. Gareth Barry, 17 goals. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Freddie Jundberg, 13 goals, 20 assists. Your call, look at that. 21 goals, 21 assists. Done really, really well for us there. Larson, 23 goals, 18 assists. Rothen's done well as well for us, but Robbie Keane, yet again, 50 goals this time for us. 49 appearances, 50 goals, 16 assists. He is a machine. It's the Haaland of his day. <laughs> Janino, once out. We've got quite a few players that are wanted as well, a couple of our squad players, but I'm really keen not to weaken the squad this time, so I'll do my best to hang on to those guys if I can. See what we can do money-wise. Really disappointed with Ronaldo. Gone backwards development-wise here, hasn't he, really? His value's crazy, 27 to 31. It's on 50 grand a week. <laughs> Henri didn't really get a look in it. Again, it's crazy, considering we're playing 4-4-2. It looks like he's just played our two centre forwards consistently. 46 million in the bank, not great. 195k wage budget. But let's push it on to September and see how we get on. Welcome back, guys. We're in September and we've done some solid business, I think, this year, yet again. Jungberg. He was on a promise if anyone came in for 55 mil that he would be let go. So we kept that promise, bit of a shame, but he has gone out 55 mil to buy in. Gustavo Neri as well, 13.75 million. He was a bit of a squad player, so let him go. We've let some other guys go out on loan yet again. Uh, Vidic, Henri, didn't get much game time, so probably for the best. Jagielka, time for him to go on another development loan as well. But on the incomings, started off with... Bought back Robbie Stockdale. <laughs> Needed some quality on that right, uh, and he provides that to us. Come in three and a half star, current ability, but potential for four and a half star. As always with me, great physicals, great pace, great stamina, uh, but he's got that tackling ability, that crossing ability as well. Right wing replacement, bit of a downgrade from Jungberg, let's be honest. Um, tons and tons of pace and acceleration, but Jesper Gronkaya, three and a half star current ability only four star potential ability so a bit of a downgrade but 12 and a half million we've still got plenty of money in the bank from that deal and then a young Wayne Rooney <laughs> currently two and a half star ability but potential to go up to five stars um, so this is the guy that's hopefully going to get plenty of game time now that Henri's gone out on loan just hope that Big Viv plays him plenty we've got two strikers so hopefully there's plenty of room for him for substitutions and one of you and then just to further shore up that back line, Ed Milson in, uh, world-class defender, four-star ability, uh, potential ability for four-star. But, you know, as always, good marking, good tackling, plenty of uh, physical attributes there. So I think, to be fair, a bit of a bargain, really, from Sao, uh, Sao Paulo, if I can say that correctly. <laughs> but brought him in for 6.5 million. So only spent 50 million, so not massive amounts of money. Squad looking, I think, pretty strong. Really, really strong. Um, plenty of fours and five stars again, or four and a half stars. Jesper Gronkai is that slight weak link on the right, as as opposed to Freddie Jundberg. But obviously with Robbie Keane up front, anything is possible, really. We also managed to get, uh, keep hold of Janino, and with Rooney and Ronaldo on the bench as well as Balak and Yobo Colaccini. It's a real strong-looking squad. Pretty happy with that. Traditional strong start, again, back again there uh, with the three wins out of three. An absolute hammering of Nottingham Forest here as well, 10-0. <laughs> Unbelievable. That's got to be one of the league's biggest wins. Looking to our Champions League fixtures, as always. Bayer Leverkusen into Arsenal. Didn't think you could play somebody from your own country, but fair enough. Hadjuk, Benfica, Lazio, Celta Vigo and Anderlecht. So, not a bad draw there fairly confident i think that we should be able to get through once again so if we can improve on the quarterfinals from last year but we've got 65 million in the bank still so like i say i was quite under budget really but there was nobody that i th that really took my fancy that i thought would strengthen anywhere oh young adriano there not sure if this is the 
Adriano, but we'll shortlist him anyway, get him ready to go. But guys, it's time to push forward into next year. We'll see you in May. Well, here we are, and that is a little bit disappointing. That is a massive, massive drop-off, to be fair, to finish third from where we finished last season. Huge points drop-off and huge gap to Liverpool as well. Finishing 14 points behind, and I think looking at the run of form there as well, those last five games possibly saved us. We got, uh, what's this? Can't see because of my mouse cursor. 10 games that we've lost there. 116 goals scored, as always, highest scorers, but 63 conceded. When you look at that, Chelsea scored, uh, conceded, similar. So we've uh, we've done really, really poorly there. Champions League, really bad. Gone backwards even further this time. Round of 16, we must have been really poor. Let's have a little look at our route here. So the league phase, didn't even get through the qualification round. We got into the playoffs, four wins. Beat Lazio, drew with Benfica, lost against Arsenal into Ansel Tavigo, who then later on beat us again in the round of 16. That is uh, that's a real shame. That so playoff round beat by Leverkusen, decent win there to be fair. Should have given us confidence, but then Celta Vigo put us away. And that's di that's a disappointing one in the second leg. That to lose at home in the second leg. Sort of ego knocked out by Liverpool in the next round. Bayern PSG Juventus go through. Real shame. Have just won the FA Cup though. Beat Bristol 4 0. But knocked out in the semi finals of the Coca Cola Cup by eventual runners up Arsenal. Uh, what's this? 5 0 Charlton. 3 0 against Spurs. 4 2 against Forest. And then the semis. Whew. Must have been again. Must have been entertaining, uh, entertaining semi-finals, both fixtures there. So we're playing some entertaining games, which is sometimes not coming out on top. Squad. Let's have a little look here. See how we got on. Robbie Keane is way down there. Uh, only 36 goals for Robbie Keane. Uh, so have a little look here. Kaladzi, Jesper Gronka, you well, 14 goals, 30 assists. That's not bad whatsoever. Lampard, 61 games again, Mr. Consistent. Only 7 goals though, 15 assists. Henrik Larsson, 32 goals this time, 24 assists. Probably uh, saved our season, as has Wayne Rooney, I think, looking at this. 21 starts, 16 goals, 4 assists. That's phenomenal. And I'm guessing, because Robbie Keane is down on fixtures, down on goals here. Sean is injured. He must have taken a bad injury. And Joe Cole as well, currently injured. So we've got quite a few... Injuries, quite a few people unhappy as well. What's that? Uh, broken lower leg. Wow, okay, in January, yeah, so that's ruined his season and then ruined our season as well by default because we can't seem to <laughs> cope very well without Robbie Keane. Um, so Rooney's picked up that mantle in the advanced forward role. Uh, Ed Mielsen's dropped off a lot. Uh, got Janino in place of Joe Cole, who's not looking great. Ronaldo's. Ronaldo actually, to be fair, made his only appearance in the FA Cup final. I actually played him in the FA Cup final. Came back from holiday just in time to play that match. Larson's dropped off as well. Probably look to get rid of him next summer. But let's have a little look at our five-year plan here. Five-year goals where we ended up worldwide reputation. Five-star training facilities. Four-star youth facilities. Five-star youth recruitment. Estimated value 1.6 billion. That's insane. That's gonna kind of unbelievable. 32 million worth of debt because the owners have decided to build a new stadium. Even though when you only moved into the Riverside a few seasons ago, there's the Riverside, looking glorious. Uh, but our new stadium is due uh, next year. I think it is. Let's have a little look here. Uh, yeah, 57,000 seater Middlesbrough Stadium. So that'd be interesting to see. We've got a 10-year stadium sponsorship deal as well. So let's have a little look at what we've won ultimately. Two Premier Leagues, 2024, 2026, third place finishes in 2023, 25 and 27, so ultra consistent. FA Cup, twice winners, 25 and 27. 
also double winners of the Coca-Cola Cup 24 and 25 retaining and then won the Charity Shield twice and once runners up as well. So guys, we have done pretty well in our five year video here, our five year uh, run as Borough Manager. Let's keep it going though. If you want to keep seeing more, we've got 126 million in the bank and we have just agreed the signing of the future GOAT. So we'll see how we get on with him. Guys, please like, please subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one.